Hello, neighbors, and welcome or welcome back to the neighborhood. I am Squealer D, and I am back again. And this time, neighbors, we are back checking out Amy and her gathering fragment Fridays from this last Friday. We are pretty close to catching up to her. So stay tuned and let's see what kind of fragments she or gagments, we like to call them, she can gather up. Hey guys, hope you have a great day today. Today is Gather Your Fragment Friday. It's the part of the week where I personally like to gather up things, make multiple meals for the entire weekend, so I can just kind of rest and join my family for the weekend. So some people might do things during the week. They might eat takeout. They might say Monday we're going out to dinner, or they might make a big pot of chili and eat it for two, three days. Whatever you do in your family, for me, myself, Monday through Friday is busy, busy, busy. Now that we're back to school, it's like life gets busier. So what I like to do, that's what I try to do on Friday, cook a bunch of time, a bunch of times, cook a bunch in the morning, and make stuff so we have food for the entire weekend, so that no matter what we do, no matter where we go, because we always find something to do, it's like there's meals made, and I don't have to worry about going out and getting anything to eat. Usually, I was for a long time making too much, and then it lasted until Monday, which was good, but, and then, and then I went through a phase where like, I didn't have enough, and by Sunday, the kids were like, what are we going to eat? So we resorted to a lot of box macaroni and cheese, ramen, or um, little pizzas, or chicken nuggets, nothing wrong with that, that was like our Sunday staple for a long time at nighttime, and I'm like, here's a good thing, the kids love ramen. All she ever eats is ramen, mac and cheese and chicken nuggets now or fast things like hamburgers. She doesn't realize the rut that she's in. No matter what she says, she does the same thing every day. She warms up frozen food. She does it very early so she can get it over with. And she does a couple things around the house that should have been done three months ago. That is Amy's life and that is what she does. I mean, that was her favorite. <laughs> I'm trying to like, I think I figured out where I have enough so we have enough food for the weekend. So I did my big shopping trip, got my big grocery list out, so I've got a plan. I've got a plan for today of all the things. First time since she's lived in this house that she actually made a plan. And watch, her plan will not be good. Now I'm going to make, so I think we'll just start out first making all of our, I think the most of my meals are going to be cooked outside. So I'll do that in a little bit, but I'm going to make a couple desserts first. So I, we had a great day yesterday, you saw my video, I just finished editing it, I was like, oh my goodness, it's like an hour and a half. So if you watched all of it, Awesome. I think the day that I did my first day of school was a really short video, and I thought, ah, is my week going to go really short, and you're just going to not get much? Sorry. And then by the Thursday, I was like, ooh, there's a big giant video. So just kind of stretch it out over those multiple days. Today should be pretty good, too, because we're going to, I'm going to get my food done, and my goal is to get done before I should, before 11, and then I've got to take um, Brooklyn Goes to Work, and so I'm going to have a bunch of running to do. So we have some errands to go do, so we'll go do all that, and then tonight we're going to go to, there's a mall here, UTC Mall, and they do like an outdoor movie, family movie night. So I thought that would be fun. We like doing that in the mountains there at a park when they had an outdoor family movie night. So we're going to go do that tonight. So I thought that would be a fun, fun thing. They're gonna go sit in a mall parking lot and watch a movie. I cannot wait. So at first we're gonna make some food. So I'm gonna do a couple of different things I haven't made in a long time, which is gonna leave a lot of bananas. Um, I'm gonna freeze most because I do like to have smoothies for them. And then I'm gonna make some breakfast cookies. The only thing I won't be doing is putting cranberries in mine. Um, I like the cranberries, but my, all my kids don't love the cranberries. So I'm, I'm like, that'll be fine. And I'm like, I'm gonna make some breakfast cookies. So I'm gonna start out getting that mixed up. I'm gonna preheat my oven and get that rolling. So it's gonna be a good day. So thank you for coming. Ready for some good gathering for making food. We got lots of food we're gonna make. It's gonna be a beautiful, beautiful weekend. You would think that breakfast cookies mean, you know, like they're a meal replacement. The kids get a healthy cookie and it tastes good. No, these cookies are over 100 calories each. They're not healthy for you and they're not good for you. They're just cookies that she feeds them for breakfast. I'm excited for you to be here. See you guys ready? All right, let's go. Bananas. My bananas are nice and squishy. It's the part where you take them off and grab the stem and they like fall off. So we have a lot of those. So it's two bananas. I'm going to do double this recipe and then that would be four bananas, but I'm going to have one extra banana just because. So I'll put those in here so you can use any kind if you've got. These are just ready to be something I'm done with. <laughs> so this is your bananas here. You're going to add peanut butter to it. You could just mash this with like a, a masher. I'm going to use my mixer. My hand mixer. You can use whatever you like. If you don't have a mixer, you can just mash it up too. Like mash the bananas up real good. So you're going to do about a cup of peanut butter. And then it's going to be a cup of honey, or actually, I'm giving you the double, half a cup of peanut butter, and a cup, half a cup of honey. So we will just add this again. We went through a phase where everybody was eating a lot of honey in the house, and now they haven't even eaten. I think I was buying one of these every single time I went to Sam's. I think I got this one at Costco. Just to you, keep probably cooking out. To, you probably used to cook with the honey more, Amy, and you don't cook anymore, so of course you guys don't go through honey. You used to make treats and breakfast cookies all the time. Now you just make Pillsbury cookies for your husband. If you go through different seasons, you can go through different favorites. They also get tired of things, Amy. You make the a big batch and they have to eat it for months, like your 22 bags of that garbage bag treats. 22 gallon sacks, Amy, 
Nobody wants to eat 22 gallon bags of anything. Stop making so much treats. It's gonna be a couple more. Probably just take a little. So try to squeeze it. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Using your monkey brain. Alright. Add some honey in there. It's really disgusting that she doesn't measure anything. She is not a good enough cook just to eyeball anything, but she eyeballs everything. You're wasting your food. Of course, they don't like things sometimes because sometimes you make it repulsive and sometimes you make it good because sometimes you measure and sometimes you don't. And sometimes you put the right amount and sometimes you don't. So, of course, they like your food sometimes and sometimes they don't because you're inconsistent, Amy. You are the queen of inconsistency. You are even teaching your children inconsistently. It's wonderfully inconsistent. Now, what I'm going to do is mix this up right here just because the next step is my dry stuff. So that way it's just a little bit more mixed up. It's going to mix it for a bit. Perfect. And then I'm going to add in some little oats. And then I got all those oatmeal. What are you going to do when you can't afford oatmeal anymore, Amy, because you no longer have those discount stores where you can get them for pennies? So I'll be happy to fill this up. I'm going to add a little bit more. Just because. Maybe I always look at it when you're done too. And then you used to add whole wheat flour, but I've only got white. That's okay. This just makes it a little bit thicker. It doesn't just make it a bit thicker. It also changes the recipe, Amy. If you use a different type of flour, it changes the how your children will enjoy it it changes the calories my gosh it's not it's not just a little thicker amy so we got some of that and now let's add cocoa powder for the chocolate it's a quarter cup so we're going to do half a cup we're eyeballing everything today that's the beauty of these Ooh, she's eyeballing everything today and she just dropped the biggest gigantic chunk in there that you could drop look that was full and now it's half full congratulations amy look at her face she knows she messed up she can't eyeball things, but she does because these are for her for her kids. Do you think she would eyeball if it was for Greg? No, because Greg would tell her, these cookies are disgusting, Amy, and he would spit them on the floor. Her kids wouldn't. They would eat them. They probably don't have any taste buds left after she burnt them off with all the acid from all of the, the different fungus that they eat. Okay, chocolate. And then you would add a quarter cup of flaxseed, quarter cup of milk, and then... And it's such a waste of your ingredients, Amy. You are not rich. You complain all the time about how much things cost and how much you spent on groceries. Groceries are not free. And here you are just wasting them. You can measure them and get way more. Get that baking soda. It's about half a teaspoon. Or one quarter teaspoon. I'm doing half because I'm doing that. And then it's cinnamon, which is a really weird flavor, I think, for all this, but it's good. Make sure it's cinnamon, cumin. It's two teaspoons, so I'm going to add four teaspoons. Okay. And then I'm going to mix it up in cranberries. I like the cranberries. I know the kids don't, so don't even mess with it. Let's mix it. I just need it because you're not exempt. I wanted to empty my old oats. Why can't you make part of them with cranberries and part of them without cranberries? I fill up with new stuff, so. And I'll use a good cookie sheet, plop it on there, bake in the oven, 350 for about 20 minutes. Then we come up and heat up, so I'm going to put this with old oats in it. Fill up my container. Of course you're going to fill it up without washing it. Do you remember when you put everything in there and you were like, I'll have to wash them out next time? Here you are, not washing them. You know why, Amy? Because you're lazy and you don't do anything you need to do. Who cares if these dirty old buckets that came from North Carolina ever get cleaned? You don't. Here, I'm going to get here. Oh, no. I mean, you know what? Here, I got a bunch of different kinds. Let me, I grab quick oats and roll oats. Let me make sure I get the, I guess I can mix some. You can do that. No. I'm really surprised she didn't mix them. No, I'm actually not going to do that because they do cook differently. Let me go get another one. And this is even worse than the breakfast cookies. The double chocolate crumble bars. You guys remember when she used to put the recipe up on the on the screen for you so you could see it? She doesn't do that anymore because that takes an extra 10 seconds while while she edits in Premiere. And she edits in Premiere, trust me, same as me. I know how to do it. We could put words up on the screen right now and it would take us 10 seconds she just doesn't want to do it because amy is lazy and she doesn't care about you even though you are the reason that she can pay her bills it's well free it's um it's, it's one of those things where it takes a couple steps so as a homemaker when i had a lot of little kids my kids love this but it always took time like i'm more of like mix the breakfast cookie put it in the oven you're good and done this one you make the base and you bake it and then you make your next cover like coat and oh my gosh amy has more than one step you make another one. So it takes steps. But if you got steps, you're good. So 
extra butter in the bowl and just mix it up. So it's real simple. So you're going to add half a cup. And again, you can double this. It makes a lot. It's basically one stick of butter. And it's three quarter sugar. I'm going to add two eggs to this. This bar is over 400 calories. Over 400. I stopped counting once it got to like 400 calories. This thing, and she uses all the cheapest ingredients she can find. She should have just made, let the kids eat the ingredients separately because this thing is a mess and it's way too many calories. You can literally put it all together. That's the beauty of it. Wash your hands and then put your vanilla in and mix it up right at this point. Of course she doesn't measure. And then I'll add the rest of the stuff. And then you're going to add in three quarters cup of flour. And then Amy, why don't you show... Like, your bowl is only half showing in the screen. Why? Like, we're supposed to be watching you make this, but the camera can't see you making it because your angle is behind you. Your camera angle is always horrible. Your lighting is always horrible. This is your job, lady. It's like you are a nurse and you go to work every day without your nursing uniform, without your nursing shoes, without your stethoscope. Like, you're walking around the hospital butt naked as a nurse, Amy, what the heck? We got some flour out here, some flour, and the two tablespoons, two tablespoons of chocolate. We're gonna kind of guess when we mix it up earlier, so it doesn't pop over the head. There's one. There's two. There we go. And then um, usually I use pecans for it, and I think the last thing I did cooking, I don't even know what we did. Then we do a crust of some sort. I use up my chopped pecan soap. I have a lot of nuts in my freezer because we found those really cheap at the discount store. So I have almonds. So we're just gonna add. Give them a measure right here. Usually measure anything about half a cup of almonds. These are kind of chopped up. That'll work. This makes it a little bit crunchier in the crust. The kids don't even seem to mind. Like the pecans are a little bit better, but this is what we got. Okay, and salt. Give me salt. Right, mix this up. Now, it's peanut butter chocolate dessert. It is quick cooking. November, December, two thousand and two. So, can I just put it up there and you can see it? Okay, guys, you just pause on this. You gotta pause it exactly, and then you can see what the recipe is. Because will Amy show you? Heck, no. This is. This is is most is Amy's willing to do for you. Okay, screenshot that. So this Imagine buying Amy a six hundred and fifty thousand dollar house and all she can do is show you a screenshot on her phone. This one, okay, the only bad thing. There's always a bad thing. I always end up I bought like I placed an order. I bought stuff for like our little thing things we're gonna do for school, all these great things and then I had to buy white sandwich cookies like the Oreo things. And so then I think in my head I thought I bought chocolate just because I bought the white stuff, so that'll be a treat. We use those up now, I need them for this recipe. <laughs> do things a little bit different and you need 28 cookies smashed together for this because it's like a peanut butter chocolate recipe but I thought we'll just use the, the white vanilla cookies. That's okay. I just got. Why can't the kids just have the cookies? Why can't they just eat the cookies? Why do you have to always have to buy great value, the cheapest brand, smash them up, add them in with the cheapest brand of vanilla, pudding, or whatever you're going to add them in with? Why? Why can't they just have one good snack and not add in all the calories? Come on, lady. You're crazy. You're not even a good cook. All these concoctions you make don't turn out right. Just let them have the treats. They eat it anyway. Totally fail the mix. I don't need all of these for my other recipe I'm doing probably next week. So I'm just going to use these. So instead of chocolate, I'll be... Those, so these are going to sit open until next week. Those will be really fresh. So you're just going to crush this, toss with the butter. Let me go get some butter and I'm going to do, um, instead of cream cheese, I'm going to use the Newfoundland, Newfoundland cheese. Someone said lactose helps their stomach better. We'll see. So let me get out this stuff. <laughs> lactose helps their stomach better. Amy, go read a book, please. Go and read a book about lactose, lactase, lactate. Read it all. Get your words straight and get it right. Or why don't you let your child take care of himself? He might be even better at it. Let him do his food. You've already failed as a mother with a child with a bad stomach. Look at Jaden. Jaden is an 18-year-old grown-up who is severely overweight. You raised an overweight child with a stomach issue. I wonder why, Amy. Why don't you pause, look, take a good look at what you cook, and stop trying to ruin Jensen the same way you did Jaden. Okay? Let Jensen handle his own food like Jaden is now handling her own food. And maybe, magically, their tummies will be okay. So this is the one where you're like, do you get out the food processor, or do you just crush it by hand? So I know crush my hands. So you need she can't even crush them right like she just smash them up she's so lazy she can't even crush them okay. 
if you are making a treat with another treat, you're probably making your children fat and unhealthy. There is enough calories just in those cookies, 16 cookies for your six children. They do not need any butter added on top. They don't need any pudding added on top. That is enough. Just give them those 16 cookies. That's enough. Stop right there. The more you add, the more heart disease your children are going to have. I mean, basic first things you buy when you're not going to buy them, but they can swear they can. Okay, so I just Google, does this have lactose? Some people say the ones that can't do regular, they use this one, so I don't know. I don't know if we can try it or not, and that's quite all right. Maybe it's not So this you put... So this will be a crapshoot for Jensen, right? Go ahead and try it, Jensen, but your stomach might explode. Um, one package of cream cheese, and half a cup of peanut butter, half a cup, one and a half cups of confectioner sugar, and then mix that up. Here, so I think it'll be good, have that. Do you know how many calories this is? The cookies the cream, the peanut butter, the confectioner's sugar, like Amy. These are your children. You're not making this to sell, to make money. These are going in your stom the stomachs of your children. Like these are your future children. They're gonna be alive adults, hopefully. Not eating your food. I mean, the chocolate bottom probably would have been better because you have the peanut butter mixture, but I'll have a white bottom either way. So this peanut butter, how much peanut butter? Half of the rest of the rest of my peanut butter. You have six kids. Why do you buy the littlest jar of peanut butter in the store? <laughs> I just put a regular spoon in that jar. This will work. And then just mix it up with your mixer. One thing I didn't do is read the recipe properly. So I was only supposed to add one cup of the um, powdered sugar and then the rest I was going to add to my pudding mixture. Of course you didn't do it right because you can't read. That's why your children can't read because you do not have good reading comprehension. That's why you can't teach them. It's very hard to teach your children when you can't read. It's okay. So you can do what you can do. So then I have to add half of this. I was just thinking, how am I going to add this to this? Because the cookies aren't like, it's one of those things where they're not, I should use a mixer for this. They're not um, like in the pan very good because, you know, I didn't do them up really tiny. So I kind of have to spread this really careful. But this is going to taste really good. You're supposed to fold this in, mind you. I'm going to kind of mix it. I want to show She doesn't do anything right. I didn't do it good. Well, what, what were you doing, Amy? You're literally standing in the kitchen cooking, but you didn't cook good. Because I just, uh, it's frozen. So we're just going to kind of stir it. It's frozen because you couldn't think ahead to take something out for your show because you didn't plan on, on filming today, did you? Yeah. Do what you can do. So we stir this. Why don't you do more, Amy? Instead of saying, do what you can do, we all know that you can do more. We've seen you cook good meals before. Amazing as that sounds, we have seen you do something successful. Why don't you work a little harder so more of your dishes can be a success so your children and your husband can have actual tasty food? Doesn't that sound great, you guys? Why don't you encourage old Miss Amy to actually cook and take her time? She's the mixer. Let me just get my mixer. You said to fold it in, and now you've mixed it in. That's a difference in air, Amy. Now you're changing the recipe. You're not helping us. You're not showing us. You're not teaching us. You're just getting through this as fast as you can so you can be done and make your little pennies and buy your stupid little stuff for your $650,000 house that your viewers paid for. Carefully so that it doesn't move your crust. Probably if you grind up your cookies and be a little bit of a This is going to be so good. I already planted a peanut butter cup. I'm going to use the same. You couldn't have just gave the kids a peanut butter cup? I'm going to go for my chocolate pudding, so I'm going to kind of wipe down as fast as I can. But it's okay, I'll bring stuff in there. So just spray it real, real careful, because the microbes want to come up. But if you kind of, if you grind them up and make them probably in the food processor, put the cookies and the butter, it'll mix up really well. I just didn't do that. So the only of course you didn't do that. You didn't do anything you're supposed to. You don't do anything correctly. What I didn't do is I won't be adding cream, um, powdered sugar to this. So it's just one package of this and one cup of milk. So the top layer will be a little bit thin. But you were supposed to add cup, uh, powdered sugar, but you're not going to because you put it in the other part of the cake. I bet this is going to be delicious. Yeah, this looks thicker and good, so let me get my milk. Lactaid milk. Even though this, this isn't lactose-free, Amy, go Google lactose, what it is. This dessert is not lactose-free. So why you're using lactaid doesn't make any sense. It's probably because you don't have any regular milk because you have one child with stomach issues, but you buy majority of lactaid milk. Makes sense. So this is just peanut butter and pudding and whipped cream and cookies. They could have just had pudding and cookies with whipped cream on top of their pudding. 
but instead you had to crush everything up and make it into this dessert and do it incorrectly and waste your time. It's weird, Amy. You waste your time on the weirdest things. Like your kids could have eaten cookies just as well as they could have eaten this. It would have been less calories and it wouldn't have took your time. Why are you wasting time on this? I think this is for her. I don't think this is for her kids. I think she's making this for her. Imagine being as overweight as Amy and having a husband that's as overweight as Greg and a daughter who's as overweight as Jaden and making this. So now it has 16 cookies and five Reese's peanut butter cups. No, six Reese's peanut butter cups. Each one of the servings of this has to be like a thousand calories. It looks like she put the waste bin on top. She just emptied the dust pan right on top. So this looks delicious. I mean, the flavors taste delicious. Great. And even the white cookies. It doesn't look delicious, Amy. It looks like you weigh 250 pounds. And when you're done eating it, you and Jaden are going to weigh 300 pounds each. I think are fine. So another thing that I had to just laugh, I just saw, I woke up this morning, like the last two nights, I've been going to bed with, like, pants on. I don't wear pants here at all, ever, at all, not even at all, because it's, it's just uh, not that cold. And so I went to bed the last couple nights with pants on, we fucked our air, and I woke up this morning, it showed, it's been like 80. I don't think it's ever gone below 80 here at all. All she does is complain about the weather. It's too hot. It's too cold. She wore pants. She doesn't wear pants. She wears a dress that's too short and shows her bum. And she's a 50-year-old lady. Like, maybe 83 during the night, whatever it is. So this morning I woke up in the clouds. It's like 77 degrees outside because we have a little thermometer in our room. And I just looked out the window and um, the, somebody, they, everybody walks in the morning. So if somebody was walking. Everybody walks in the morning in your neighborhood because it's healthy, Amy. You should get out there and walk too. You should also take Maxine so she can become socialized. It's very dangerous to live in a neighborhood with a pup who is not socialized. If your pup gets out, she will be afraid of everybody. She will not go to anybody. She will run away from them and they will hit her with their car on accident as she tries to run. Amy, train your dog. I know you don't train your kids, but train your dog because your channel, it will implode if you kill your dog. What happened when you left Ruby in the mountains? You just left her. You didn't care about Ruby. If you let Maxine die because she's not trained and you let her get hit by a car, your channel will blame you. I will blame you. You let that dog run amok and you don't train her. And if she gets out, she's going to bite somebody and they're going to put her down. Or she's going to get hit by a car running out of fear. And you think it's funny. You laugh. If you kill Maxine, Amy, your channel will not approve. I promise you that. So I would suggest you start taking her for a walk and getting her socialized to the neighbors so that if she does get out, if there's ever an instance where she gets out of your yard, maybe the neighbors will be able to catch her and save her life because we know you don't care about her. They had like a long jacket on and I was like, ooh, they know the winter's coming. <laughs> so, kind of funny, kind of funny how they, uh, I think it's getting cold. We've only been here for so long, but to me it's already chilly. So just an interesting thing. So okay, I'm gonna cover this and then uh, what else we make making cookies, right? It's kind of funny how you see your neighbors walking and you know they all walk for health and then you don't get out there and do it and you look like you look. And my double chocolate crumbles going. Look at this. This little peanut butter dessert. I'm sure it's going to be delicious. I'm going to move on to my dinners. I'm not going to do any breakfast. I probably... You're not going to do breakfast. We all know you say it every day because you don't make your kids breakfast because you don't love them like that. They make their own breakfast. I should plan for lunch. I just, you know why I didn't do lunch is because I still have some soup from yesterday, which is kind of funny. Those noodle circles... Of course you have soup from yesterday. That soup was repulsive. Those noodles, you should have just threw them away. They set for seven months, and then they set for two weeks in a hot, a hot, hot truck. And we don't even know how hot that truck got. It was 120 degrees when that truck was sitting out there. That truck could have got over 200 degrees inside of that, inside of the back. And you just left them sitting in there. So who knows what that soup tasted like. Expanded, and it made it more like, it was much more thicker. It was good, though. It was really good. Like, we ate a lot of it. So I only have a small container of that. So we can, um, I guess I'll keep one of that. There's also wraps to make in there. I don't know. Let me go think of something where I'm making food here. So I'm going to put this in the fridge. They probably all had pizza, top ramen, and chicken nuggets. And I've got my one cookie is out. Let me see if my other ones are done. Oh, wait. Here's Jaden. Hi. Jaden's 
Since you're making breakfast, I'm like, can you get a move out of the shot? Are you coming to the shot? I might as well. Can you get up in the mic or no? I told you nothing. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Jane's so much taller than her. And she's so big. Jaden, get a grip on yourself because your mother is not going to help you. Just like she didn't help you graduate with enough smarts to get into a real college. Me and you, we're going to have our own little sit down and I'm going to talk to you. But let me just say this since you thought you would jump on in here. Go on a diet, Jaden. You're out on your own. Don't stop at fast food. Don't listen to your mom. Don't stop and buy ramen. Don't stop and buy fast food. Stop and get yourself some water and some salad. And that is it. You eat that until you get in the habit of eating good food. And unlike your mom, you get out there and work out. Go for a walk every single day. If you have to, if you're embarrassed, take the pup with you. Go for a walk every day, a fast walk. Walk for at least a mile. Next week, start two miles. The week after that, do three miles. Jaden, care about yourself because nobody else cares about you. Your siblings are all on their own in other states. And the moment your mother wants to leave you, she is going to. All of the money that she makes from you being on her vlog, stop allowing her to keep it. You deserve that money. If you are on this vlog, every dollar she makes while you are in the vlog, you deserve it. Jaden, stop allowing your mother to exploit you. People talk badly about you when you get on here because you're presenting yourself to a bunch of people that are to different places in their life. And the place that you're at in your life is not a very good place to be, Jaden. You're overweight. You are not going to college, a, a, a appropriate college that is going to teach you because you're not educationally there yet. Your mother has set you back so far that all you can do is catch up. So the first place that you should catch up is your weight. You're overweight. And it's going to affect the rest of your life. Trust me, I know. I am not weight shaming you. I'm helping you. I don't care what you weigh. I don't care what your mother weighs. But if you are going to be on TV, if you want to be a vlogger, if you want to make videos, you need to get your weight under check. You have a FUPA. That is what women have after they have children. You have had no children. You should have no FUPA. You need to exercise. You eat way too much sugar and way too many carbs. And now it shows. If you don't want that life that your mother has given you, you need to change it. You are responsible for it now. And you need to stop allowing your mother to abuse you and exploit you because it makes you more depressed. And then it creates more weight gain. And we have watched you balloon up over the years, okay? Amy, they've always been living their life. You have never raised these children. You let Jaden do whatever she wanted. She was a fat, small child. Now she's a fat, large girl. You've never taken care of these kids. Jaden, don't count on your mom because she's never been a good mom. Jaden, you don't need two eggs. You have two eggs over there. Those are 90 calories each, 100 calories each. You don't need two of those. Have one egg. You need to cut back. It's time. It's crazy because you were already a nanny. You nannied your brothers and sisters because your mom doesn't take care of them. Now you're going to get paid for it? How would she love working? How could she love working at a place like, let's say, fast food? How could she love working at fast food when she's never had to work, Amy? You don't make them wake up. You don't make them do chores. You don't make them do school. You don't make them do anything. So tell me, how, how is she going to go to a job for eight hours a day and want to work there? Yeah, right. She loves nannying because you get to eat what you want and sit on your big fat arse all day long. Everybody knows. She nannies the way her mother parents. Which is awesome. So she's like on all the time. Yeah. What school are you going to, Jaden? Are you going to a real school or are you trying to take your first college class so that you could learn everything you should have learned as a child, including your elementary reading? Where are you today, Jaden? What are you doing? And so, just fun. You love driving? How's the driving experience? I love driving. It's really nice. She loves the freedom to just go wherever we want, whenever we want so much. She can actually go get food, Amy.
Real food. It's really, it's really, it's really good. She's so smart. She's like, oh yeah, it's over here. Oh, she's like, she's wearing GPS, but she always was. You always were like knowing every direction. So she's like, yeah, I'm going over here. This is where. I'm like, how do you even know that? So I know, but I love that we have we have a fruit, like fruit sixty. So once in a while I hear, and I'm like watching the kids go, and I'm like, where are they going? And I'm like seeing their car drive, and we have a Seven Eleven there. So I'm going in the slushies. I'm like, I love it. That's right there. So I love living in the city. No more slushies, Jaden. Jaden, go introduce yourself to all the neighbors and then find out what they think about your mom when they find out what she does and then they start watching her videos. That's the real reason you're not allowed to go talk to the neighbors. Your mother doesn't want you to. If you go make friends with all these neighbors and they find out what she does and then they have their little luncheons together, they're going to make fun of you and they're going to make fun of your mom because her channel, yeah, you guys have 143,000 subscribers. Oh, I noticed, Amy, it went down from 144K to 143K. What happened? I told you, you're going to purge subscribers because you're boring and you're mean and you are a horrible YouTuber. But anyway, you're going to purge subscribers because nobody wants to watch this crap. Exactly. But definitely like accessibility. Accessibility. I think Waterhouse and internet. Oh, my gosh. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's really nice. It's like that just like, tops everything. It does. The internet really does. It's just Amy at 50 learning to appreciate the internet. It works. It works for all, all the time. Once in a while we get thrown to the LTE or whatever. I'm like, what happened? There's like, there's one little zone. Like, and I'm like, what, what is this? I'm like, why do you even have this here? So, yeah, and most of the time. You found the zone to complain about Amy. It's like 100% full truth. Yeah. It's awesome. Wonderful. Love the city. It's all good. Yeah. All right. She's making her food. She's going out to work today. Yep. All day. Okay. Yep. I'll have to do her thing. Yep. Very <laughs> good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to make my double chocolate crumble. Remember that? Oh. Make sure you get paid for this. She didn't pay your sister, and look where your sister's at. States away with no family. I love that, yeah. Don't get left behind like Lauren and Evan. That looks hard and disgusting, and now she's going to add a layer of marshmallow, and it doesn't look like her or her child needs marshmallows. Okay, so now she's going to hawk Julia to us. It's not like she doesn't sell us enough stuff. Now she's going to sell us cheap jewelry. Perfect. I don't know. I'll have to wait and see. Super hard too. But I'm going to do this. This was one of those recipes. I just a snapshot right of it. I and then I'm going to say this is something to do. And it was taking beef chips right here. And use this cheese mini pierogies. And then a green pepper. And put them on a skewer. And then put them like, on your grill and grill them. I'm like, that would probably be really good. I haven't done skewered food in a long time. I always feel like it's one of those things that takes a long time to skewer them. And you're like, can you just saute it? Oh. You should have sauteed them all. Those are frozen. Frozen pierogies. Partly frozen meat. And a little tiny piece of pepper on a skewer. Your children are not going to eat this, Amy. You are not going to eat this. Those pierogies are not going to get cooked correctly. And she's going to burn the meat. But it does look prettier with on there, so I'm going to do it. doesn't look prettier. It would look prettier if it was cooked and not burnt. I did cut a ton of the green pepper because I knew not everybody's going to eat one, so we'll just put like one on there for each skewer. But she said one for each skewer. These should be really good. We've done... Um, really getting those veggies in, Amy. The pierogies on the outside before, and they were good. My kids like pierogies. They like them all sorts of ways. Okay, just got to be real careful. I mean, it's a little frozen. Your kids like anything that's processed that you didn't cook, Amy. I think these will be something fun to have. A little bit different. A bowl of food is good. <laughs> that's like frozen. This way the metal ones that come in handy, right? And look at that. We have a little skewer. They could have still been fun. You could have put them on the skewer after they were cooked. And you're going to cook that skewer. That skewer should have set in water. It needs to be soaked first so it doesn't catch on fire. We know how you cook. Like that. Put them right here. All right, let's do a bunch of these. To me, these look delicious. I feel like this is going to be a really good dinner. So I'm going to just cover this with um, plastic wrap. You can use I, can't even, I can't even imagine what these are going to look like after they come off the griddle. Because I have a lot of plastic wrap. I have a couple of these small ones. I have a big giant roll. I have a bunch of these small ones. Like Greg had one. I don't even know how we accumulated one, but we had one. So I'm just going to cover this. And I'll be putting this in the dirt. Because I don't think I'm going to do this right now. I will probably be adding it um, probably later when I get back. You never cook anything right away, Amy. Oh, so the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the oven. 
I do is quite processing do one dinner. So I probably do all the grilling. They have to sit there and get real nasty and mushy before you do anything, right? Right away. Because one time cook, eat the rest of the weekend. So I'm just going to get rid of the beef. One time cook, eat rest of the weekend. No, Amy. One time cook, have trash the rest of the weekend. For at least okay, Hawaiian chicken kebabs. This was a meal I already put together, so it's in the bag. I don't need a bowl. It's right here. So this has got the liquid. Hopefully it's not frozen. I think it's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. So it's been marinating forever. See how it thawed real nice. I'm going to do the same thing. Put it on kebabs with the pineapple. I'll get a couple, maybe one green pepper, and kind of mix that in there. Onions or no? I feel like, I don't even think green pepper you would use, would you? Let me just get one because it looks pretty. Okay, let me cut this up here just to put it right in here. She said she's going to get a green onion because it looks pretty. First of all, that's called a bell pepper, not a green onion. And this is not enough vegetables for your children. So this will be good. I'll add this in here. I think the original recipe had this, but I froze mine because I did mine when I got the chicken. So you can do it either way. So this will be delicious. So let me get some skewers. I'm going to check my cookies so I don't have to stop. Okay, next batch. Let's hurry up and do some of these real quick. Look at all those cookies back there for Greg. He's got to keep his figure. Okay. Next one, same thing, real good. Doesn't, I think that one looks prettier because it's dark in that, but this will be delicious. So I'm just going to cover this, and this will go into my cooker, and we will... Neither one of them are going to look pretty when you're done cooking them, Amy. Oh, really? It's just going to be great. I and mean, then I think I have the rice. I'm going to see if I got some rice left over. Don't make them eat rice. You can always have this wine chicken with the rice. I feel like I should have a sauce. I know this is going to cook, but let me look something up. Let me look up if there's a sauce for that. Everything doesn't need a sauce, Amy. Sauce is high in calories. Stop giving your kids high calorie things without protein. You're just filling them full of calories and not giving them good nutritious food. Stop. Actually, you know what I use? I have a little bit of that pineapple habanero sauce left. Her kids are not gonna eat that chicken. That was really, really good. It's not processed enough for them. She actually cut it up from like chicken and she's gonna cook it, so they will not eat that. Now, let me clean my mess and we'll move on to the next. The other main meal we're gonna have is steak. So I've got, um, we're trying to do that one tonight, so not all the kids who pours that lemon stuff on steak? If I buy steak, I am not pouring that disgusting lemon juice on top. Love steak. And that's okay with me. For me, I'm like... I'm Your kids like steak. You just don't want to pay for them steak. So you tell them they don't like steak and you burn it up and you cook it dry and nasty and then they don't like steak. I'm thinking the price for steak, you know, costly. So if the kids don't love it, I'm not going to spend the cheese for all the steak for them that they don't even love. So I am going to just make a few. We have, I separate them into bags too. Um, steam stuff. So what I'm going to do, let me see that Ew. Hold on, I'm trying to mix this and get the marinade all on it. I'm going to put these in the bag, which you can see right here. I'm going to touch that. And then I put a little bit of oil in here. I put some lemon juice in here. No, we can't see, Amy. We can never see because you always have your camera up where it just shows your stupid big forehead and we don't get to see anything you're doing. Now we see your dirty sink. We see all your cookies, but we can barely see what you're doing. You're such a good YouTuber. And then I put the steak um, the in here. I'm just going to kind of... Mix that in as best I can and let this sit, and I'm gonna do these tonight. Okay. She's gonna mix it in the best she can without taking them out of the bag and actually mixing it. And everybody loves this, so then what I'll do is the other ones, like the kids mostly are gonna have pizzas. We'll do them outside, so that'll be great. So we'll cook pizzas. They're simple, they're literally sauce and cheese and crust. That's it, they don't even like anything on it, so I'm like, let's make this easy. Let's do pizza tonight. Sauce and cheese and crust. Yum, that sounds like the best pizza ever, Mom. Can we have that every night? Okay, we'll steak tonight, and then um, that'll be really good. So these are ones from Sounds Club, and it's really good. So I'm just gonna let this sit in here. Wash my hands. She didn't wash her hands. It's the same amount of water in that other bowl. That means that she just rinsed her hand. This lady never washes her hands. Okay, all the meat contamination is going to be done here. So I'm going to put these in the fridge real quick. So if I she said all the meat contamination is going to be done here. Let's just set those in there. Get a little bit of cookies in there. We're doing great. We're doing really good. I'm going to make some sides. All good things. Let's keep cooking. Right. Let's finish up this double chocolate crumble. So what you do, it's one cup of chocolate chips. Can you see? I think you can see right here. I spread them down a little bit. One cup of chocolate chips and one cup of peanut butter. So I'm just going to put this into the pantry so it's going to be nice and soft. I'm almost afraid to leave anything else. <laughs> like it's going to be too soft. Okay, so we're going to put this together. You mix this real well, and then you add in six cups of, I probably use like a spurtle. Yep. Six cups of Rice Krispies mm. cereal. Hold on a second. Your house is so hot that your peanut butter melts? I think we can do this. And then that's what you put on top of this. This is so good. Like I said, this is a lot of steps, but some of it tastes really good. At the end of the day. I got my dishes washed, I cleaned up. Um, I've got pots of water behind me, so I'm starting on my next... Well, I'm finished this. So in my microwave, I threw in there th um, two sweet potatoes. And usually, like, I should have put them in the oven. I didn't think about that. Um, so I got two in my You said you don't use the microwave that is for the kids. But you're using it. Right, right now. I've got a pot of water boiling for a lunch meal. Back up in the pot where I brought the other one out. And we're going to, like, crank through this and get this real good here. Let's see what I'm going to do. It's just, it's just, I feel like you think it's a lot, but in reality, at the end, it's like, that's not too much. Or, we'll just fill it. Our kids will be happy because they 
getting one of those Rice Krispies. And I'm like, I need that for a recipe. So just stir it. Why didn't you let them eat that? Instead, you stirred it into chocolate, you stirred it into peanut butter, you stirred it into marshmallows, you stirred it into some cookie on the bottom. They could have just eaten this with milk, just some cereal and some milk and been happy. But you had to add in 17,000 extra calories. You're really trying to make sure your kids have a heart attack by the time they're 30, Amy. Yeah, it's so good. Now, I have made this. I like it probably better in like a jelly bowl style pan. That is really good. Um, you know, like, like this tall of a like cookie sheet. That works out nice because it's more of like you can spread it out and make it more of like a cookie bar. Now, this is so good. It's just going to be a little bit thicker and that's quite all right. This is going to be thicker and more calories, but that's okay. Just look at Jaden. She's trying to get them all plumped up. Perfect. And then you can see right here. Just pour it on top. Oh, wait. Oh, pour it. There's more chocolate at the bottom. <laughs> Don't get a bowl big enough to actually stir it up, Amy. You're just a cook. Look at that very bottom of that. Cooking mama. Just a little bit through here. Okay. You pour that on. Oh, so I just put it on the floor. Look at that. Oh, this is really good. You can make like a dish and like a treat, dessert, and great for party. We just make it in our family. It'll harden. It's really, really good. I'm not a big fan of mine. It doesn't look good. It doesn't even look as good as just a chocolate rice krispie treat. Or anything, but this is delicious. So what I did is I washed my frozen crabs. Remember the broccoli I got really cheap at Get Well? She might as well put that broccoli straight on top of that that uh, rice krispie treat dessert. And then I um, blanched it and I froze it. I should have drained it. I didn't so it's a solid you should have drained it, but you didn't because that would have took extra time, right, Amy? You would have had to put it in a colander and let it drain, and it would have took time. You just wanted to put it in the baggie and put it in the freezer and be done so you could get done, and you could go float on your avocado and everything like that. And <laughs> Why do you talk like that? Take a breath when you talk, please. I'm going to put that over there. First, I'm going to cover this with plastic wrap right here, and then... Um, Don't let us see what you're doing now. You're just a YouTuber. Move on over here to the stove. And I was, didn't really have anything planned for lunch, and then I was like, you know what? The kids love that broccoli dish. Remember the broccoli and pasta and Parmesan cheese? Like, simple and easy. They love it. Pasta, broccoli, and Parmesan cheese. Any way that you can get straight calories and no nutrients into your children. And I've got some of that grilled fajita meat I'm going to cook as well, which I'll probably do first, and then uh, they can have it. So let me uh, bring it over here. So over here, I've got all the pasta going right here. I put some eggs, I'm going to hard some eggs. Because that way I can, I'm going to do hard eggs, I'm going to do some chicken. And I'll have some for salad. Because I got that leaky lettuce. I'll use that up this weekend. This is going to be for... Leave it to cooking mama to pour in two pounds of two or three pounds of pasta in three cups of water. Look at all that in there. Small one, so I'm mostly gonna have it with the steak. Um, so this is gonna be for the pasta broccoli. So let me see. How do we use the bow tie? Would be the bow tie? Bow tie is the pasta, right? I'll use this one. She put more pasta in this little bowl than she did in this big giant one. Now this chicken we really like. This one is from um, Sam's Club. We like it. It's really, really good. It's just... Of course you like it, Amy. You didn't cook it. Of course you like it. You didn't cook it and you didn't season it. It's delicious. Yes, you can make your own chicken. But let's just taste. So I don't mind buying this stuff. You can't make your own chicken, Amy. If, if you tried, there's no way you can make that. There is no way in... God's green earth that you could make that chicken taste like that chicken. Amy, you couldn't do it if somebody offered you a million dollars. So I'm going to put some olive oil in here. And then Instead, you'll pay $7 for that itsy bitsy amount of chicken because you're not smart enough to make it. Put all of this chicken here. And then I'm gonna Look at that little amount of chicken. How many ounces is that chicken? 10 ounces? 8 ounces? Get up here, fry it, and I'll take some out. So I'll use it for salads, and some I'll leave in here for the pasta broccoli dish. That's not even enough for the broccoli dish for your family alone. But she's going to use it for the broccoli dish and her salads. Let's get part of this go. Macaroni salad, pasta, cooking. Perfect. Great. Let me see what else we can do. And this is just like the plum pepper. It's really good. Just to season it. Don't. Don't season it. It's already seasoned, Amy. Look at the back of the bag. It's already seasoned. Stop adding salt to everything. You're adding cancer. You're adding high blood pressure. You're adding cholesterol to everything. So what I did is I just kind of cut these up and they're smaller. So they can do more like bite-sized pieces. Cut it up smaller so she can stretch it even more. 
I bet you Amy wishes that they had something that looked like chicken. Like, I don't know, maybe like styrofoam that she could stretch her meat with. I'm going to turn some eggs. They're going to boil my mind like crazy. You don't have to have your burners on high fire all the time. Look at this one in the back. It's like on fire. This one, high. Everything is on high all the time. That's why she burns everything. Her griddle outside is on super high. That's why she burnt the whole entire griddle. Really Look at this fire down here. Yum, that broccoli looked delicious. You couldn't have just rinsed it with warm water and let it like sit and cool down? Okay, I've got stuff everywhere. I'm just going to keep on moving. What I'm going to do is make um, macaroni salad. So I'm going to love to have macaroni and sandy. This is, I think it's um, Papa Joe's mom made this salad. And it's become a family staple and I love it. So I'm going to just do this real quick because uh, I'm hurrying today. <laughs> I'm just going to cut it on the cutting board and cut it like this and get this in here. Now her original recipe, she put some, or well, the one that we've always done, I can't say hers, I don't really know, is to put a little bit of onion and tomato and cucumber. But um, what I found is part of it's not like tomato in there. It looks prettier. Okay, Amy, this is why Greg left you the first time. Do you remember? Think real hard back. I know you don't because you don't keep track of anything you do. But way back before Greg left you last year, you made him some nasty gyro meat. And that you called it gyro meat. And you added onions to it. And you told us. Greg doesn't like it with onions, but I'm going to add them anyway. And then shortly after that, Greg was gone. And he was gone for eight or nine months. It's because, Amy, you don't care about Greg. You care that he's there because you don't want to be alone and you don't want to raise your children without help. But you don't care about him. You don't care about his looks. You don't care about his heart. You don't care about his health. You don't care about his happiness. You do not care about him. You just told us that he does not like tomatoes, but the tomatoes make it prettier, so you're going to put tomatoes in. Amy, stop treating your husband that way. Why would anybody want to be with you when you put things in their food that they don't like? Why? What else do you put in his food, Amy? Do you put thick it up in his food so that you can make him gain weight so that he'll die? Do you put cholesterol, in, high cholesterol items in his food so that he will die? I'm beginning to think that's where you're headed, Amy. Greg, watch out. She's trying to kill you. I think she literally might be trying to off you. If she'll put something in your food because it looks prettier, what else will she do to you if she's angry at you? Yep, she put those tomatoes in there. She could have used that tomato in her salad, guys. She's going to make herself a salad. She could put the tomato in her salad, but she wants this in Greg's food because it looks prettier. Could you imagine doing that to your husband or wife? I couldn't imagine in my wildest dreams putting something in somebody's food that I love simply because it looks prettier, but they don't like it. I couldn't. And then that way, we're going to use this up. So she gets to use it up, and it looks pretty, and Greg can pick it out if he doesn't like it because F you, Greg. Yeah, they're fragments, but I didn't have to put a ton in there, so this will be good. And then um, I have... You could just pick it out because tomatoes don't have a taste. They're not going to leave a tomato-y taste. Mayonnaise? I do have but I do have mayonnaise. And, oh, actually, you know what? I think what somebody told me... And t Look at that big giant piece she just threw in there. Look at this. It's as long as her finger. She doesn't care. It's just for Greg. Like last week's getting fragments of the dish. It's good. It's great. It's delicious. And something to their mayonnaise to make it taste like mayonnaise. So I'll probably just do that. So this will... Oh, People think she's so cute and, like, her and Greg are so cute. She hates Greg. She absolutely hates Greg. Watch her, and then you tell me where you see love for Greg. But this would be perfect. Maybe just one? I'm debating how much to stick in here. It's usually by eye. So I have this with the steak tonight, and I have mushrooms here that have to get eaten, so I'm just going to fry those up. I could put those outside and fry those up when I cook everything else. Hmm, I'm going to stick in here. Decisions, decisions. 
decisions, decisions. You're literally cutting up food and cooking it. It's no decisions to make. Either you do or you don't. Maybe you should stop doing things so easy, Amy, because this looks repulsive. Not one of those things are cut nicely small for your mouth. You don't care how big they are. You're cutting them huge so you could get through it fastly. I feel like I'm going to make it. I'm going to go get some that Now throw some sweet miracle whip in it. You need to add as many calories as you can because Greg's belly will not get bigger unless you add more. My time for the day is going quick. This isn't even food. Like, there's no nutrition in here. Cucumbers are mostly water. This is pasta. Pasta is all carbs. It's not good for him. Tomatoes that he's going to pick out that he doesn't like. Miracle Whip that is mostly ketchup and cholesterol. I meant ketchup. Sugar and cholesterol. Like, this is not food. I always think I'm back later. I have to run out and do some errands. And I was going to do it when Brooklyn goes to work. Because I have to go do things like clean my car. Because it's full of beach sand. Huh. Nobody cares about your car, Amy. Mind it, but I just want to go get clean. So if I wait until later to, um... That's a cup of mayonnaise. Like, when she's done with work, I'm afraid that, like, I won't be done with all the runs. I don't know what's around here. There's a lot of traffic, and sometimes you're behind, and so I just don't want to have to hurry wait at work. So I'm thinking just to go when I drop her. So that means I gotta hurry, which I'm getting there. Let me get some salt and pepper. <laughs> Look at her hand. What are you doing, Amy? Were you mixing that with your hand? Fix it. Or something like this pepper. Why is she trying to hurry? Why can't she just put aside enough time to cook? This is a cooking show. We're watching her cook, and yet she doesn't set enough time to cook. That would be like me not setting enough time aside to, to commentate this video. I know the video has been edited down to 50 minutes, so I need at least 50 minutes to watch the video. If I only set aside 25 minutes, we're not going to get through this, are we? Amy, please plan better. This is your business. I know you don't have any type of education. I know that you don't have any type of drive or willpower to do anything. But my gosh, woman, you're about to lose your business. And this is how you pay your rent. She's manic. There we go. Much better. So this will be my side with the steak. She doesn't even taste it to see if it tastes good. To see if she added enough or if she added too much. She doesn't ever taste anything she's making. It's just, it's good. It's great. It's delicious because she said it is. He'd be happy with just this. If it isn't a simple person, this is good. I'm going to make sweet potato for myself. I like that with steak. And I'll probably do some, uh, I'm going to make a couple small salads for myself because I bought all that uh, leafy lettuce. I'm going to eat it. It's meatable. I'm still going to have these. I'm going to put this right in here. That's perfect. All right, now salad done. I'm going to put a lid on this. One more thing finished. My broccoli over there is cooking. I'm going to make three salads for myself. To me, that's quick and easy gravity. So she made herself three salads. She put chickpeas, which are a source of protein. She put that chicken, which is a source of protein. This lady knows she put half of the chicken in her bowls. She knows you need protein. She knows she wants protein and she knows that her children need it, but she doesn't care. She put a little tiny bit in their bowl and she put the rest in her so she could have protein. She doesn't care about her kids. She literally does not care if they eat enough protein. To survive. Fragments for a salad. So I was using up that leafy stuff. I used a little of that uh, salad from my walking tacos last night. I used the cucumbers have to get used up. So I added cucumbers, I put a lot in there, put my tomatoes in there. The, the chicken didn't have to get used up. You could have used that entire bag of chicken in the kids' pasta. The chicken and added chickpeas and then parmesan cheese. I like the shredded kind, but I got that at Costco, so use it up. And then when I go serve it for myself, I'll grab um, probably some nuts. Put some nuts in there, like cashews and cranberries. Cashews are 170 calories for 17 cashews, Amy. Stop eating cashews. You're fat enough. You do not need any more cashews. You don't need any healthy fats. You got plenty of fats, lady. Chop it up and put my dressing on there. Perfect. So I got lunch for the next few days. So that's really good. Okay. She put a lot of chicken on there too, guys. Watch and see how much chicken is left for this next meal because she doesn't care about giving her kids protein at all. I think over here our broccoli is wrong. Let's go over there. Let's finish that and then we'll clean up some more. So this dish is real simple. I'm going to add a little bit of... And the broccoli pieces, look how huge they are. How oil and ash are going to begin with, but it was frozen. So put some out. Lots of oil. Because you're going to pasta to it so you hold it. Keep putting on that oil, lady. Put on so much oil that they could bathe in it. And then let's put the salt and pepper. She poured that salt directly on there, and it's not going to mix in with everything. Look at that. That's the chicken that she saved. She saved maybe three ounces, one and a half ounces of chicken for her kids, six kids to eat this. 
can and a pasta. And an entire thing of pasta. This, this pan, look how big this pan is. And she put 1.8 ounces of chicken in there. And the same as other as garlic, pepper, parsley. No. And then just pour it right on top, right? Because that chicken bouillon, don't forget all the, all, all of that uh, high sodium. Things like that. Hey, this is spice cut. so good. I found this in the original one. We found from the cake last. She did a cake house or something. I think she made, I think it's called congetta, congetta pasta maybe? Similar, very similar. Congetta, she don't know. It's fresh broccoli. Mine um, looks fresh and then it's frozen. So I'm just going to stir this and add a chicken to it. It's delicious. And then I'm going to pour parmesan cheese on it. This will be lunch. The kids like this. It's simple and easy and like a delicious meal. It's so, and it's so light. We make this a lot in the mountains. I feel like we have this like very regularly. So you just got to make sure you got enough to olive oil there. Mine doesn't come up too much on here, so. Make sure you give them enough oil, Amy. They don't get chicken, but they will get their oil. And then taste them. Oh, delicious. Get the Parmesan cheese, because it's like out of time. I don't like the shorter one better. Like I said, but this is good. So just try this in. This will be delicious. Lunch, they'll eat this for the weekend for sure. Amy, Parmesan cheese is Parmesan cheese, whether it's grated or shredded. It's going to melt the same. If it doesn't get all the today. Beautiful and delicious. It's not beautiful. It's disgusting that you think your children only need 1.8 ounces of chicken between all six of them. You're disgusting. I'm going to do my eggs. Sad, sad, sad. That's okay. Sometimes they turn out sometimes they don't. So I'm going to do egg salad. I'm going to do Christmas and I'm going to do watches. I'm going to go like this. Ooh, I need a knife. Usually you can just squeeze that out. You can see I cannot go. Is that the bad one? Hold on one second. Hmm. Usually you can just peel the skin off them. I was like, I'm just going to peel this and put it in a dish here and then I can just take it out and eat it. I'm just going to squeeze it out. So I've got it. That one doesn't look right. In here, put the lid on, it's good to go. The next thing you do is take some mushrooms here. I'm just going to slice these real quick and then saute them with some butter, salt and pepper to have with the steak tonight. I could cook them outside. That probably would be a good idea, but I think that I'm just going to use the chapat and to slow down and do the griddle up there. Those look like some rotten to uh, mushrooms. And then I just want to lay my, like, my kebabs on there. So, let me uh, just chop this up as best I can. So good. I'm like, look at You're not chopping those up the best you can. You're not chopping those up good at all. You're not even trying. My cucumbers. I have a lot of cucumbers. I thought maybe I could do. But I made those with the pickles last time. Okay, so I made them. They were real sour. The kids did like them. But I'm thinking, I'm like, why don't I do them a little bit less that way? And just, it's still a little sour, but not as vinegary. So I might. What did I say? I'm going to take my time for this here. We're going to do our best to get as much as we can get into it. So I'm going to take this. Instead of butter, I'm going to coat my little saucepan. That means I'm going to have to fill this up with olive oil. Put these in here. Salt and pepper. And just cook them on the stove. Easy. Is it just so I don't have to be, be watching this? So I'll put it over here. Let me put these in the refrigerator and let's see what we got. She kind of cook those outside? I thought she was going to do it all on the grill outside. Okay, we're going to put a little bit of butter in here. Maybe butter. Saute that real quick. I brought some more butter right here. I'm going to do a orzo pasta. We have a lot of orzo pasta here. And so I'm going to take. No, don't cook the orzo ahead of time. Orzo is pasta. It's going to get all mushy. What do you like to call it? Squishy. A couple tablespoons of butter and two cups in here to saute it. So this will go great on the steak tonight. The mushrooms will be delicious. I should have done some onions. <gasps> what did you onions? Mmm, put a little bit on. I totally forgot. You don't want this to burn. Let me turn this back on. This will be a really good um, topping on the steak. I totally forgot onions. Talking about it. If you planned out your days, you know, this wouldn't happen, Amy. You would have it written up there. Mushrooms, onions, and you check mark them off. You know, you got a board over there to your le or to your right. You got you could write on your refrigerator. Like, come on, Amy. Oh, sorry. Okay. You gotta stir this. You just wanna cook this for a few minutes until it's kind of brown. And then you're gonna add chicken broth to it. Um, it's in my cookbook. Orzo with pasta. It's a good way to use that. Amy's orzo never looks good. Here, we're going to do pickles real quick. So I've got some water right here. We're going to let that. Now last time I think I just used vinegar and salt. I don't think there was any. I don't know if there was any water. They were like super strong. I don't think I'm going to do this. So this I'm doing four cups of water, two cups of vinegar, and then I'm going to supposed to use kosher salt. I don't have that. So we're just going to use other stuff. Two tablespoons. This lady is making pickles again. Amy, first of all, she said last time they didn't use any water. They just used vinegar. Pickles are not made in vinegar. Pickles are made, and they're not made in four cups of water and two cups of vinegar. They're made in half water and half vinegar, and I am not even a cook to know that, Amy. 
And you're just going to use whatever salt because you don't care, because you don't care how they taste, because you have no taste buds. So let's see how this one goes. I don't know. I know it won't dissolve as easy, so we're going to see. I'm going to cut up some. I'm going to find some containers. I think I used little, my little jars. I'm going to find some jars. Like, I'm going to keep those in. Okay, let me go do some looking real quick. I forgot a teaspoon of sugar. Okay, that. Okay, let that come to a boil. So for dinner tonight, we're going to just stick on the pizza for a tip. So I got my non hot rice. Over time, I'm going to make my own pizza. I got that. Sauce, I shouldn't find the freezer. Okay, she bought this non bread for like six bucks a pack or four dollars, whatever they were, four to six dollars a pack. And there's four or five of them in there. And she bought them for pizzas to make in her two thousand dollar pizza oven. I could see if you were going to broil that in your oven and make your kid a quick pizza, but she's going to take these out and cook them in a two thousand dollar pizza oven. That is not what this is for, Amy. At all. Of course, he gets a frozen pizza. I would lie and say my stomach hurt too for cheese so that I could get everything special like Jensen. Okay, we're doing good. I think we're coming to the end, right? I was looking, I'm like, I wanted to do cookies. All my desserts are done. We'll cook the steaks, sweet potatoes. If I was her child, I'd be allergic to everything. Macaroni salad, mushrooms, pizza for the kids. Tomorrow will be the big pierogies, big clubs. Then we're going to do slushies. I got that written down. Hawaiian chicken and the orzo. I know we're coming. She's going to work for Sunday. And then I got Hawaiian chicken and orzo? My bananas away. That was going to do. And popcorn. So I make popcorn tonight we're going to go to an outdoor movie. So it's going to pop popcorn and popcorn and take it. She's going to pop popcorn and take it to an outdoor movie. Yay! I can hardly contain the fun. I'm going to save a buck, and you know what? You've got to pay money as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut up as many cucumbers as I can. This is my container right here. I have other ones, so I'll probably do two. We'll see. We'll see how it works. I make this work. I've only got a little bit of small ones. <laughs> so I'm going to put these on the top, I think, and I'm going to slice and wash these, these ones for the bottom. And that'll look good. It's just about getting in there. So I'll probably put one little one on the bottom here and put some on top. She has six jars of pickles in her cupboard. Six jars of pickles. And can we please tell Miss Amy how much sodium is in pickles that her and her children do not need to be eating jars and jars of pickles every single day? Can't mess up with bigger pickles. They're just delicious. Okay, so let's do that with about half of this. Greg's going to die of a heart attack before the next five years the way she feeds him. On top. On top. Okay. Pick it up off the floor, Amy. Five second rule. Just pop it right in your mouth. You'll probably do it. The only thing that's been on the floor is the lawnmower. It's not like it's a big deal. She's like a manic animal. I guess I could have just used another pickle. So let me cut. I got another one. I'm going to cut more of these. Can't move them up right along. Get stuff done. Cleaned up over there. Wiped off my stove. I have to fill up my salt. It's empty. I thought it was out of salt. And I realized I have some in here. So I'm going to pour this in. Shishi. Let's well, see the knife. Chop it up. Okay, perfect. So I have salt. And then I also have to do my olive oil. Perfect. I always overfill this. You know, I wait just like, watch out. She's going to overfill it. That one, you see it? I believe my camera shut up. Yes, I did overfill it. Just a little. Of course she overfilled it. Look at how manic she is. She can barely stand still. Her hands won't stay still. Just watch her. So I got this. I'll put this over here. And then, um, what I'm supposed to do, I got my orzo right here. This is done. Let me show you here. Basically, look at that. Delicious. And all you do, nice and thick. Okay, perfect. That's for tomorrow, guys. This orzo that's already sticky and looks like a goopy mess, that's for tomorrow. Yay! Can I come to dinner tomorrow? It's basically rice and roni. Like, remember rice and roni, the noodly part of it? Could you imagine eating rice and roni the next day that it had been cooked? This, she's saying this is like rice and roni. No, thank you. I think it was just spaghetti noodles. I don't know. I mean, it comes with cheese. Wait, she's putting the cheese on it right now, too? Oh, tomorrow it's going to be so goopy. And start. This is great. I'm going to put this cool. This will be it. I think if I was her kids, I would come out on Friday and I would just eat all of this stuff on Friday while it was still hot while she was making it. And then I just wouldn't eat the rest of the weekend. Like, there's no way I'm eating this stuff remade. If she's going to make me eat it once, I'm going to eat it fresh. Side dish for the weekend. And I will not have to make it because I'm done in the kitchen. Like, I will not have to go in and scrub I would call CPS. I, uh, let me make sure that everybody knows that I wouldn't really eat this stuff on Friday. I wouldn't eat it hot. I wouldn't eat it cold. I wouldn't eat it new. And I wouldn't eat it old. I would literally call CPS and have them come pick me up and take me to one of my older siblings or a grandparent than live with this lady and eat this food. Especially because she doesn't allow them to go to school. So you have to eat bad food, have a bad stomach, and be a special education person. No, thank you. 
for you and steal a plate from you, we can use paper plates all weekend, which is so good. The only other thing is my pickles here. You saw me put those in there. The dillweed is freeze-dried dillweed because remember back in the mountains I tried to make pickles, there was no dillweed anywhere. So I just bought freeze-dried, it works. So I just put a blob of garlic in there, the dillweed, see it's cool, I'll pour it on top, I found one lid, which means I gotta go find the other lid. Who knows where that's at? You'll never find that lid, Amy, ever. Oh, it's fun. And then uh, we're doing great, like that's it for my food right now. What I'll do is I'm just cleaning up, I gotta get the vacuums rolling on the floor, I try to wipe the counters real quick, and then the kids will do the dish. She should take that orzo straight to the bathroom and just flush it down the toilet. Just put away, and then um, I have a bunch of laundry and washes I can put in the oven, and they'll put that away. I'm going to get the vacuums going on the floors. Easy day. And then I'm going to go head out, drop work on after I got about half hour before I leave. So I'm going to get my stuff together and uh, doing good. And I'll get back. She's done at 3, so I have to be done by 3, 3, 30. Get back, and then I will um, get the stuff cooking outside. So awesome, great day. Something else I didn't cut was this. I probably would like to cut this up so we can have it with our Hawaiian chicken. It'll be one of those, like, sit it right here, keep looking at it. That thing looks wretched. And then you'll notice this way and this is cool. I got my dishes done. I'm going to get the vacuums rolling. This is cool. Life is great. One thing I forgot to do is my bananas. You can't even take them. How does that make life great? Amy, does telling yourself that make you feel better or something? Because that doesn't even make sense to say. I got my pineapple right here. I'm letting this cool down. Life is great. Your life is not great. Your life is a mess. You got to go pick up your kid. You got to start your food at 3.30. You made the worst food in the world. Your life is a mess. Not without the, the uh, tops peeling. <laughs> Somebody put those in the banana. You never have a nice banana. I've never seen a nice banana in your house. Real quick. No, the bananas are really bright, so you can just squeeze them out of there. So she squeezed all the bananas to get some views. I don't know, understand why she couldn't just tell us she squeezed her bananas, but she has to show us squeezing these bananas in. And she's been doing this for years, guys. She buys all those bananas, and then she squeezes them in here, and then she pretends that she uses them. Sometimes she does, but mostly I think she throws them away. Peel, so, okay, this is something I had to do. I was like, I'm going to get this in my trash, so I'm going to my trash, so it doesn't stink. And she never puts the lids on correctly. Like, she's had these same bowls since North Carolina, and she never puts the lid on correctly, so everything gets freezer burned. I did find the other lid, which is awesome, so I'm very thankful for that. And then, um, we're gonna... And look how, like, orangish they are. They're dirty. See that lid on that one? They're not in, it's not on all the way. I can't keep this because this one's different, and it's, like, specific lid, so look at that. All right, here we go. I will see you guys in the next clip. will be in the car all done with Gather Your Fragment Friday. <sighs> For now, we'll come back again. That was her Gather Your Fragment Friday, guys. She got some non-bread out for the pizza. She got some pasta that she put an ounce of chicken in. She made some eggs. And she made herself some salad. And she got some pierogies on a stick ready for dinner. That was her gathering her fragments. Amy, those aren't fragments. Those are food because you no longer cook food, so you no longer have fragments. Those are called processed foods that you purchased. Hi, Nan. Okay, hello. We made it to the car. All good things. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. hello. So we can just decide now that Greg is a part of the show. It's like the Amy and Greg show. And he has to do this because he can't work. Stop at work and then we are out doing it makes sense though i mean like amy exploits the family and it's greg's family too so it's greg's money too he might as well be in on the show Fine. so the first place we're going to is the big, dan. big dan big dan big dan, big dan is a car wash you can go and look at it's full up nobody cares about your car wash amy you always show it and nobody cares nobody cares about your car why don't you tell us what happened to greg's car you show us you washing your car but you haven't told us where is greg's car where's his little his little nut rocket or whatever the hell it was called where is that thing you guys didn't put it inside the garage during the storm so i'm guessing he doesn't have it anymore where is it your viewers want to know but but if they ask you'll just delete them in your comments oh, right now, so everybody getting the rides ready for the weekend oh yeah so nice but lots of beach and we never cleaned it the last time we went to the beach so it's been pretty safe yeah so we're like, trying to make it every week yeah, yeah but i didn't even do it yeah going to the beach every week mm -hmm. but i haven't cleaned it like at all like i got a membership and i don't think i've been here once a month <laughs> <laughs> not since i go clean every you have to cancel all memberships, Amy, because we know you're going broke. You're spending way too much money on food. Oh, yeah. We were in the car. We were traveling. It's a lot dirtier. Yeah, so, it, yeah. What was weird about the mountains is, like, you know, because we had that big mountain, the mountain above yeah. the house or whatever, when it would rain, it seemed like, it, like the dirt would come down, right. and the, the, like, the reflection of the droplets off the ground right. would just make your car get, mm -hmm. like, filthy dirty. Oh, yeah. So it was constant. It's called dirt, Greg. You know, the dirt falls, and then, or the rain falls, and it hits the dirt, and then the dirt splatters. You know what a splatter is, Greg? It had nothing to do with the mountain. It's called dirt, and dirt does this thing called splattering. It's really dirty, but here I'm like, I bought it the first month, and I literally was like, I could go to Big Dean's at least use it. It's safe, so clean. I'm not, so I, didn't, I didn't even need to. <laughs> so I was like, so we I purposely went, and I was like, you know, this month I'm like, I'm not even going. 
to the car wash at all, so cancel the membership and then just see. We always watch you watch your wash your car, Amy. Who cares? Who cares if you have it? Who cares if you don't have it? Why are you telling us? Do you want somebody to pay for it for you? How much would it Because I'm like, I'm just not coming. Are you trying to grift a free car wash from somebody down there in Florida? Why don't you put out some feelers? Why don't you put out some uh, emails or something? Stop talking about it in your videos. None of us care about your stupid car that you overloaded with way too much cement. Yeah, that much, so perfect. Okay, we're going to get a little video. Yeah, yeah, so it's great because you can get this. Look at this. Oh, look at that. It's big almost, dance with a little complimentary air freshener. It's almost like chocolate under your pillow. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. So you can, so you can just have a smelly thing, which is good. So you got your big dance. Why'd you grab two, Greg? It's not for you to grab two. They don't say free, grab a handful. They say free. They mean grab one for your car, not for every car. It's for the car that you brought through the car wash. Right and it should identify you? Or it should. Like, by your license plate? Yeah, so they can stop and then let's see if it's there. Let's hope it opens up. Why would it not? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Last time, well, last time I had my license plate changed. Oh, we're going to do license plate. Oh. See, the last time. Yeah, the station. Hold on. Is the guy going to come? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, like, when I came through this originally, I had my North Carolina license plate. And then I came back and I had a new license plate. And I was like, why is my car not going through? I'm like, oh, I forgot the license plate. I just got a new license plate again. <laughs> <laughs> I must have got one. And I forgot. So they had to do it. So they didn't right. What do you mean you just got a new license plate again? You said you went and got your North Carolina one, and then you got another one. Why? What happened, Amy? Why do you get another license plate? Okay, no problem. Yeah, this is the great car wash. It's got like I'll show you. No, it's the great car wash. It's great. Right. We got like the cleaner for inside, like a squirt mm -hmm. thing on it, and the window. It's like it's literally like Armor All and yeah. like a humongous spray nozzle. Yeah, like the, the, the window cleaner, huge spray nozzle. Yeah. The glass. Uh -huh. One has uh, your back two different types of vacuums, one with a bigger hole, and one with a little. That's why people ask you so many questions in the comments, Amy, because you don't make sense when you talk. You said you went and got another one, so now you've had two Florida license plates. Why? Yeah. Wedge tool or whatever. Okay, that's awesome. And then, <laughs> what else is going to Miss Amy? It's got the air glass. Oh, the air glass. That's what we get. What else happened, Miss Amy? Shut up, Greg. You sound like an actual nutbag. Shut up. It also got your vents and that's really good detail stuff. And then, there's more. There's, there's more about it. Not only is it a complimentary air freshener. It's a complimentary air <laughs> But it has, uh, it has the mat wash. The mat wash comes with a, you know, concentrated soap. And then it has a, a nice brush, a soft foam brush for scrubbing that. And then the big shower head rinser. And then it's got a, also an air compressor for drying it for a Wow, Greg, that all sounds so interesting. You should start a channel just to tell people about the mat cleaner at the car wash. It's not. So you don't just have to take them out and just shake them or blast them up against something. It's, it's much more refined. It, 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 it is. It's like you get the membership. I think it's maybe like $10 more. Yeah, it's like 25 bucks for like the, yeah, the, the, the one with the one. ceramic wax and all that. Yeah, whatever it is, it's like 10 dollars more, so it's, if you go... Yeah, whatever it is. Shut up, Amy. Stop cutting him off. He knows what he's talking about, so you say, yeah, whatever it is. Twice, you pay for it. Like, mm -hmm. okay, well, once a month, it's not even going to pay for it, so I'm going to go and cancel it because yeah. I'm going to go once a month, and then, um, and then we'll just pay as we go. And then, you know, thanks for the winner, you know, wait for it. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. So, all right, <laughs> Next week, she's going to be talking about, well, I canceled my big dance, and now I need it back because we go every week to the to the beach, and my car is dirty, and I need to go to big dance. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> Amy loves to complain, and she loves to find something to complain about. So she'll complain about having the membership. She'll complain about not having the membership. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a little dance. There's a guy that's real innocent. He kind of looks like a little dance. He looks like a little dance. Big dance. We're going to go with Dan's rubber mat. All right, ready to switch? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> Yeah, what is it? Amy's new thing is sweaty eyeballs. eyeballs are sweaty. Eyeballs are sweaty. <laughs> I don't mind it. I don't mind sweaty eyeballs. But okay, ready, please. You don't have sweaty eyeballs, Amy. You have a big, gigantic body that sweats everywhere, and so you feel super sweaty even on your eyeballs. Yeah, this is all the. <laughs> Lose a little bit of weight, and that might, it might even out for you a little bit that sweat. Four. I'll just show you that. See how the sand in there? Oh, it's all good. Mind. That's what we want to see, Amy. Close-ups of your sand. Greg, you've never kick flipped. Why do you wear Vans? You know what Vans are, right? They're skate shoes. You look like a 50-year-old that is in a midlife crisis, Greg. Those are the signs of kids having kids. Kids have fun. Okay, I love the kids. All right, so there's a blower and a sucker. So I, I use blow it to get all the sand blown out and then suck it off. So he's getting this all vacuumed up, looking good. There's like, it's looks like in every crack and crack. Oh, yeah. It's like, it's total. So we're doing good. Lots of music playing, so I'll do this real quick. Clean colors, don't forget. Vacuum, they got these two things. They're full of cleaner and disinfectant. The air thing that drives you. So I'm going to use that to clean it up. You should spray that disinfectant cleaner all over yourself and Greg. <laughs> Riveting content, Amy. Everybody wants to see you keep your vehicle clean, but not teach your children, right? All right, look at that. Super not cook some food. Super clean. Nice and clean for the... 
You know, Amy, we haven't even seen you go in your pool yet. You always say you win your pool and you floated and you swim and we've never seen you do it. But here we are watching you do your car. You bought a whole $650,000 house because of the pool. And we've never seen you inside of the pool except for to help your husband clean, uh, fix it. But we've watched you clean your car a million times and none of us care about your car. Okay, so you saw the floor before. So this is definitely upgraded and clean. So very good. Looks good. Big dance. Look how sweaty she is. It just took an hour to wash their car, but she will only spend two hours of school time with her children. Today. <laughs> I was going to say the last time that we came and did this. It was like Literally five minutes after being outside, I was like, <gasps> it was sweaty. Mm -hmm. it's so the temperature's getting better. It is. Getting but heat wave is starting to break up a little bit. Or maybe you guys are just getting more used to the heat now. You've been there for a while longer. <laughs> Make sure you get that Trenta coffee. That's where, uh, what is it, a thousand calories, Amy? It's not amazing. I call BS, Amy. I just had a pumpkin spice frappuccino today because you buy so much Starbucks. I had to see what you're on about, and it was disgusting. I threw it away. I literally threw it away. I had a venti, what was it? A venti pumpkin spice frappuccino. It was disgusting. I threw it away. Why don't you, like I told you, grow up, get yourself an espresso maker, make yourself a shot of espresso if you really like coffee. I'm sure you can get an espresso maker for free if you grift hard enough. So, you know, another good one is the apple. Remember they had the apple one? The apple oh, one really good. Really good. So the apple one. I don't think I remember having the apple. You had it with the apple pie one. Are you sure? Yeah, you had it once because I tried it and I was like, I'm going to try it with my apple. Not bad. Pumpkin? Oh, man, I see what they left. I was going to say, and for my special treat, they left my apple. <laughs> 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 once in a while, they remember, but not always. Never. <laughs> okay, guys, so now we're going to go. For your special treat, Greg, you didn't need one of those. You know when they get it right is when you do the app. Yeah, Wait, what? You went to your old bank and they found money for you? Amy, something is, what? You put this in your vlog. You didn't explain. You just said they found money for you. Like, your, your whole vlog is BS. You mean they got a credit card for you? Did you open up a credit card, Amy, because you can't afford all this stuff? Why don't you ever be honest? They didn't find more money for you. Didn't no bank call you up and tell you they found money for you? I was. <laughs> and I said, oh, look, honey, it's Ace Hardware. Let's go there. I rolled my eyes. Right. Oh, yeah. Now they're going to add Ace to the to the argument. I can't wait. All right. We'll try. Just because I didn't see low, so I doubt they're going to have what we need, but we can look. <laughs> no, it's a really cool Ace. It's got a Crowder's Gifts and Gadgets yeah. attached to it that Amy hasn't seen yet. Yeah, so. that's always fun. Like a little yeah. Hallmark store. Like yeah, but this is like a giant store. So, so. we're going to run there. We're going to get a few things for some stuff for school, and then uh, we're going to go to Walmart. Oh, so. Bring your camera so they can see what yeah, the awesome let's, let's is. Let's go see. Let's go see. Let's go see. All right. Ace Hardware. Look at that. Look at the giant chair there. Maybe we need one of those. Make that your little thumbnail. There Okay, Amy. So are we going to see your panties today? Look at this old lady. She's 50 years old and she's going to climb up here and we're about to see her granny panties. Are you guys ready? Cover your eyes if you're not ready. <laughs> Wait, I seen them. Did you guys see them? I seen them. I seen them. They were dark colored. Way to go, Amy. Your dress blew up, and we definitely seen them. You know that people could stop this. If I really wanted to be a real mean person, Amy, we could go s just shot by shot, and we could probably see everything, right? I won't do that to you, because look at how stupid you already look. But do you know that people can do that to you and your children? They could take just, just one frame out of here and have a picture, and then they can use it. They can use it for their own sexual pleasures, they can use it for all types of things. They could post it up on the internet, Amy, and show you. 
show you all out in the open, just wide and exposed. Stop doing stupid stuff like this. Just because you can't see it because it's going fast doesn't mean that people can't pull a frame out and show your panties, show your children's panties. Stop being ignorant, okay? Educate yourself if you're going to put your private stuff on the internet. Educate yourself, Amy. You're exploiting yourself and you're exploiting me. Even worse, you're exploiting your children. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, it's a, real, it's a real laugh, Greg. We just saw your 50-year-old lady's panties. That's so funny. <laughs> I hope she cuts it before she gets off because then nobody want to see her panties. <laughs> Why didn't you cut it when you got on, Amy? Dude, that is and why do you have dark panties on with a light dress? <laughs> I have a life giant chair there. <laughs> Hi, He's just gonna fall Hi, into it. <laughs> There's the mini person chairs right there. Why don't you buy those, Amy? Those chairs are better than anything you have in your yard. Anything you have in your house. Buy those chairs right there. Take the red one. Take the yellow one. Take the blue one. And take the white one. And then think about this. How great would it have been with this cool red chair with your cool red pizza oven in the backyard? Oh, but red was too much color for you. You needed it to look black and disgusting. She won't buy that jewelry. It's way too expensive. It's not free like Julia. Amy won't buy anything in the store. All they do is window shop. And are boring because, like Amy said, they have no money. They were taking out a loan from that bank. That's what they were doing. They have some money for you. Yeah, a loan. Would you take out a loan on this house like you took out on your last house? They left that last house owing $75,000 to the bank. Imagine that. $178. Amy wouldn't buy that if her life depended on it. He said pick it up and she said no it's okay I'm just looking why you look like trash every time you go out maybe he wants his wife to look nice when he goes out with her Amy has four dresses that she wears all the time don't you think he's sick of seeing them Amy, think about it. Greg is tired of looking. You look like an old lady in a moo moo. Here's your Christmas list idea. Greg, we have this video. Okay. <laughs> I need this. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. They'll be gone by then, Amy. And don't say just kidding because you're serious. You want it, but you're not willing to spend that much money on it. Watch. In the next uh, 12 videos, we're going to see those titties inside of one of those shirts. I love that. I love that. Hold, hold the neck more into your... There you go. Oh, that's gorgeous. Wow. It looks way better than the one you have on, Amy. You look like an old maid in what you have on. Oh, no. Oh, wait, like the, the pink or the blue? <laughs> yeah, but the blue would be beautiful on your skin, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. I guess if I had to choose. Okay. Yeah, the blue looks beautiful, too. Your skin? I wouldn't get any, either of them, Amy, because they're $68, and, you know, that $68 could buy tons of chicken strips, chicken nuggets, coffee. It don't fits just about everything, sweetie. Okay, so, man, you can have a piece. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, skip, this is crying. I'm skipping Lowe's. <laughs> look at, oh, my God. See, look, look, I got another one. Do you want me to just give my stuff on your show? Oh, baby, look at me. I don't know. Mm, I, I, you don't really like it. Brand life is good. No, it's fun stuff. So this store is better than Lowe's or Home Depot, right? Because it has all these expensive clothes in it that Amy will never buy. Jewelry, and then look at all the purses. The blue one has like everything. So I have like, there's so much. Like a pumpkin prize right there. Okay, look at that. Literally like, they have great stuff. Amy is like a home family channel and she doesn't buy anything for her home or her family when she goes to stores. Like she's the most boring YouTuber I've ever seen in my life. Every other YouTuber will at least buy something, one thing. Even the poor YouTubers like, 
imagine like uh, the Moss family TV. Like they don't have a lot of money, it seems. But when they go places, they buy things. They buy things for their kids. Like Amy doesn't buy anything when she goes places. No, they've got everything. This is a great store. Look how cute. Handcrafted in Florida. Somebody it is. It's an authentic coconut shell. Oh, yeah. It's crazy that Greg gets more excited over home stuff than Amy does. No, no. It's like that laundry stuff. Laundry snow. I always got fun stuff for kids and, you know, stuff you've never seen anywhere. Oh, yeah. Look at all the outdoor. Oh, there's the flamingo for the yard. The flamingo for the yard. Look at all the cute stuff. Well, this is future projectile for the next hurricane right amy you're trying to get as much as you can get so that the next time when the hurricane does hit you everything hits your neighbor's house okay, great we'll rest relax and enjoy all oh, the wind chimes i got my wind chimes up personalized gifts oh, oh look it's a row is that a ramen top scrub look it's a row that's fun cute little look at all these little cute things oh she won't even buy a towel oh look at that these are so cute yeah that's really cool endless window shopping like what the heck amy this is so boring you're not even saying what you like you're not showing us prices buy something show us something or get the f out of here Beach. I would rather be listening to Greg Mansplain because then at least we'd be getting something. We're not getting anything from this. We'll probably never be back here. She's never going to buy any of this stuff. It's way too high priced. Let's leave. This is the color of my house. I'm going to get you a mermaid. Mermaid. No, we'll get you a mermaid. mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> so this is more like an oyster, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. It's like an oyster. Yeah. Things like chicken clam, I guess. Right, see, sure. Really cool. Cute mm -hmm. stuff. Oh, great. Dip twist in it. Right on there. Nice. Pictures. Look at they got that layer necklaces and stuff. Hey, you're in the middle. That's awesome. I'm glad people making things. Cityscapes. That's so cute. Hey, Midwest. You will say. Midwest. They would never buy any of this stuff. But it's so cute. It's so cute. It's so cute. It's so cute. Just leave, Amy. You don't want any of this stuff. You'd never purchase it. It's a little. It's a little. I. All she's doing is trying to get more footage so that when you watch it, she gets paid more. <laughs> oh, honey, we need one of those for that. I but, know. Uh, you think that really no, because everybody else has them. I see them. <laughs> okay, that would be my new favorite store in Florida. <laughs> okay, now on to the other store. Her new favorite store in Florida, but she didn't purchase one item. I think your new favorite store in Florida is Aldi, Amy, because you're cheap. <laughs> Smells like the awesome size of this. I know, it smells like a, uh, it smells like, it smells like China. No, like a fertilizer. Oh, like, look at that. Oh, wow, look at that one. What did you say, Greg, that it smells like China? Did I just hear that? $4,000. We can get something else. We can get some reindeer. Right there? We can get some reindeer. 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 So we found some mush, sprinkle, we needed a yeah. sprinkle head for by our garage, so yeah, we got only a quarter. Somebody had put just a cap on it, yeah. something similar to that. So it just doesn't spread. The pressure is building up there and it's weeping, so yeah, we're going to get a quarter yeah. one right there. There we go, perfect. perfect. All right, babe. Okay. This is the greatest store ever now. I know, I told you. No, you I've been trying to get her. You can't I've been me. trying to get her to come here to see the no. Crowder store, literally since we first You've got to love Home Depot. I said, honey, you've got to come and see this. It's amazing. Well, no, no, this is your favorite store. You can and do that. All she thinks is this one-minded, oh, it's a guy store. Hey, and no. goes to get his screws. I'm not going to believe it. can't possibly be awesome. <laughs> you can't like the store, baby. It's not right in the world of YouTube. <laughs> okay, let's go make some more. Of course they got tragic. This is the greatest store of life. <laughs> it's, it's we really went to the Paul store. Nobody had it. How much is it here, though? Yeah, right there. How much is it here? It's probably having a really good one. We paid. Okay, I think I paid that on Amazon. So fun. It probably, really <laughs> it probably does. Fun. All the good stuff. Look at this guy's got some little saw, little hacksaw. It's kind of fun. Oh, you got everything here at Ace. Look at the size of this. Ace is the place. That's right. I think I pulled time out quick with that. <laughs> and more like this one. Oh, look at chemical solutions. I mean, water filters. Buy a big giant gallon of hydroperoxide. Or he said, he said chemical solutions. Greg, you make me wonder about you every single time I watch you. Why do you need the hydrogen peroxide 7% solution? Are you thinking about making chemicals into something that you shouldn't be making chemicals into, old Gregory? For whatever you might know, we have one over for this machine. Mm -hmm. Just hold, it's like the best store ever. I've got a lot of money, but you like my tools. I just bought one of those, it's coming off, I knew it was coming off. I was like, look at it, we got one of these coming from a different company, so. I was like, that's kind of cool, just because of the giant fireplace. She's got one of these coming from a different company. So she grifted herself a little heater for outdoors. It's just rusty and nasty, so this is kind of cool to see what we saw online. I'm like, hey. The one we ordered is 24, right? Yeah. 24. 
looks like a 15 or 16 inch. How fun! Let's see what it is. This one's got the... 14. Oh, yeah. wait, that's the height. Wait. Ah, they got a sticker over it. The diameter. This one's 19 and a half. Okay. Diameter. That's fun. So look at how they show it here. Like in size, got like the fire brick. Yeah. I mean, it's how so that, That's pretty cool. It's a very different little fire pit. It's so fun to be able to move it around. Yeah. Well, fun. Yeah, it's supposed to flow kind of like a. Um, what is that fire plate? The rocket stove? Yeah, where rocket stove. Yeah, where it feeds air from the bottom. And so, then look at the air is brought up here, so it's supposed to be like less, less smoke. Smoke, so we'll see. Yeah, it'll be cool. Just something for our backyard, so that's smoking our neighbors. Mm -hmm. so you can film that with a coffee and chat right there. Cheese. So now he's told us about it. When they get theirs, he won't need to tell us anything about it, right? That's smart. Okay, wait, wait, that's my favorite story. No, it's mine. You gotta love Home Depot, babe. You didn't even want to come here. I did. I begged you. I'm the one that said, I'm the one that said, come here, babe. <laughs> you were gonna go to Home Depot. All right, people, I'm doing the new. Mine is now eight. I'm ditching. Oh, no. <laughs> you gotta go, go that way. It's because it's way more expensive. But you know what? It's nice because there's like literally 25 people in there working. Oh, yeah. And everybody kept coming up to you. Literally every hour we went to. And I love it because then they're like workers and they understand what they're doing and they're helping people out and they're like informing them. And I'm like, I imagine it's really funny. I'm a shop at, which is a good thing. Like, yeah. for a small town type. Somebody, you know, helping somebody, so that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. So Ace, people, I mean, it's too far from my house, no. First. I'll probably always go to Lowe's. It's literally 15 minutes from my house. <laughs> I will be going to Lowe's, so I love Ace, just for the record. <laughs> We're going to Walmart now. My mother's going to take a store of life. <laughs> after Amazon and after so Ace. I'm Publix. <laughs> I'm Publix, Amy Walmart. <laughs> Greg said he's Publix and Amy is Walmart. L-O-L. No, Greg. You are genital warts and Amy is herpes. I do agree that you do enjoy a, qui a higher quality of food than Amy, but, and I do, ad I do agree that your wife cooks like a blind donkey, but you, sir, are no Publix. I'm Home Depot, you're Lowe's. No, 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 no,
feel like we're shopping like we would um, here at the like this time. There you go. We need like a bigger car. <laughs> Why do you have six kids and only buy one thing of milk at a time? Only one of your kids, well, I guess Jaden too, but you don't buy food for Jaden. Jaden has to buy her own food now that she's 18. But you only have one kid that doesn't drink milk, Jensen. Why does Jensen get four gallons or four half gallons of lactate milk and the other kids get one gallon of regular milk? Why? Steven drinks regular milk. Autumn drinks regular milk. Maddie drinks regular milk. Brooklyn drinks regular milk. Why does Steven or uh, Jensen get all the special milk and the kids get one thing of milk? Why? I'm sick of seeing Jensen be your favorite. It's disgusting. Yeah, we do. I need like a, I was gonna get like the We have to hear about Jensen in every single vlog. And then we have to see Maddie in every single vlog because she's the only one that will let you show her. It's disgusting. You're disgusting with your children. Trailer hitch thing for like storage. So now we're shopping like um like you would prepare for like a snowstorm. So I'm preparing for ocean boogie boards. Because yeah. I don't need to get like shovels or sleds. Or you should be preparing for the hurricane that was coming towards you, but you didn't care about it. And you didn't care about any of your other fellow Flor Floridians. Thing we were discussing. What's that? Um, a suburban. Yeah, a bigger. Yeah, a little yeah. bigger. Remember? Yeah, that's what you need, Greg. Get a get a suburban and have a another payment right you needed a six hundred fifty thousand dollar house and now you need a bigger car for a bigger car payment they were in the old days yeah they're much bigger so how about first greg you get a job and then you get the suburban it's not remember they used to be like oh, big. Hell yeah. greg needs a suburban for that belly look how far in that belly sticks inside the car you know big force whatever motors they have yeah Four for it fours, gas guzzlers mm -hmm. you know, they just they got some extra. Right, some cutters here for his oh, yeah, Crazy. A lifetime warranty. Fiskers. Anybody that's used Fiskers knows no, how sharp they stay and how good they are. Look at that belly. That is Greg. What the heck? You don't need Fiskers. You need to go get on a, a, a dang treadmill and walk that off. 13 bucks. Who would have thought? Awesome. Okay, so we got some good things that we need to get Walmart, and that was it. So now we're going to go ahead home and. Um, Make dinner. So I'm hungry, starving. So I need to go home and eat my salad, and we're gonna cook some steaks outside. Kids are hungry for pizza, so we're gonna make some pizzas, and then uh, we'll get together and we'll go head out to the movie. Yay! All right. Good day, Shelby. Yeah, it's all right. Okay, we'll go head home. Okay. Oh, hey. I didn't know I was on film. They're so sweaty. Look at her. This is who she portrays herself as. I'd delete my channel. No, I was just gonna go home and eat myself. Her ears look kind of red from those. Are those earrings making your ears red, Amy? Are, they, are your ears allergic to those? They look like red and inflamed. Mm -hmm. It's been a great, it's been a great day, which is awesome. Yeah, we got really good stuff, though. Mm-hmm, it's been a good, successful day. So we'll go home and uh, have a little bit more work. So other than me, what was the favorite part of your day today? Was the store guy with mm -hmm. Pepsi Shoppers. You like, really like the stuff? I like that. I like the clothing there. Mm -hmm. I guess I haven't clothes shopping for a while, so maybe. Like, we got to take the boys shopping still. Yeah. And so clothes shopping. It's been like, it's been, I don't think I, sh I think I shopped before I moved here. Like, it's been a while, while, right? So the boys still haven't went clothes shopping? You bought the girls all clothes and it's been months and you still haven't bought the boys anything since they've been here? Just, you don't need to shop for clothes. Oh, I know. Actually, Amazon it. shop. Never mind. I'm I like shop as much as she does. All my so. dresses I bought, I bought like, so I started going shopping. I was like, oh, this works. Let me shop three of the same color. Oh. <laughs> so, I like to start shopping. I feel you love babies. You store better than me. So, I'll get things. Mm -hmm. Well, they all look like moo moos. Your favorite store was? <clears throat> I went to like, UPS store baby in the bank. <laughs> Now, look at those pizzas. There's her salad. The only thing that looked good and edible is a salad that Amy made for herself. So I was eating that. So I was eating that and I got the pizza order. I only have look at that pizza. This is the kid's dinner. Amy, what calories and nutrients are you doing for your children? This is sauce. Nothing in there that they need. Cheese. Nothing in there that's enough that they need. Like, there's a little tiny bit of protein in cheese. Not enough. This non bread. Not enough. These are all calories that are nothing for these children. Four. I need to get to four. So I got two right here. Actually, five. So I need a dairy free. Brooklyn said she wanted the pesto. So I got the pesto out of the freezer with um, Alfredo right there. Cheese. Like, that's Brooklyn's dinner. Brooklyn is a 16 year old girl and she's going to eat a piece of non bread with some pesto, Alfredo, and some cheese on it. That's her dinner. So that's another one. I'm going to do one, and I'll do two, and then Jensen has the dairy free, and I've got our steaks here. We're going to start cooking outside, and the kebabs are out there starting the pizza oven. Love you. Okay, I got a beef on the griddle out here cooking, so we've got all those, and the steaks are here. Greg likes them as well, so I'm not going to cook his very long. And then in here, we got pizzas rolling for the kids. They're just pretty much done. Like I said, of course they're done. They're non bread. They're not pizzas. You don't have to cook that. That bread only needs warmed up. It's called non bread, and it's cooked. 
You're not cooking them pizzas. All you're doing is heating it up, and you're using a two a two thousand dollar oven for it. It's ridiculous. The steak temperature guide right here is one twenty to one twenty five. You've been cooking. You've been cooking for people for thirty years. You have a thirty year old child, and you still have to see how how hot a steak has to cook. <laughs> Amy, why are you sticking that all over? You stick it in one spot and take the temperature, the thickest spot preferably, and then you can check another thick spot on another one. Oh, I should have put some oil on here because like, this got sort of cold off, so I just keep carefully turning these so they don't. Well, you're turning them carefully, but what? How are they cooking, Amy? The pierogies, look, they're not even touching. How are they going to cook on there? Tell me, please. Continue to stick on here, but I think just for the low temperature, they're going to eventually they're cook, not right? So cook. it's almost there. He is at a 120, so I've got a 90. Just sticking it in. I'm like, I'm like, you know, That's not that. Here. That is not how you take the temperature of a meat. Just stick it in all over by a bone. You need to stick it into a fatty middle area where it's gonna be least cooked at. Sticking it down here, of course, it's cooked. This is cooked. This is a little cooked end. You need to take it where it's thickest. Like in these ones, way up here where it's thick. Here where it's thick, Amy. I shouldn't have to tell you this. You're the cooking YouTube channel. Almost there. You do not need to take temperature there. And those pizzas were a shame. The fact that you have a two thousand dollar pizza oven and that's what you cooked in it, you were shameful. Those progies are never gonna cook. Oh my goodness, look at there's like fifty thousand chicken flies over here. They're mating in our yard right now. Wow, they're like out of control. This whole video is out of control. Camera stuff is cooking great. The pizza is in here. The first batch is done. I'm going to keep it in the show that. Kids are hungry. I got another batch in. And these are cooking away. All right. Again, learning curve. Look at the pierogies. She says she got a learning curve. She's got two cooked pierogies. One here and one here. This pierogi is ripped open. You can see that it's not cooked. This pierogi ripped open. You can see that it's not cooked. This pierogi, you can see that it's not. You can clearly see that the pierogies are not cooked. Half of the, the meat is probably raw. Luckily, it was cut little, so, you know, it'd just be like r rare meat. But those pierogies, I would puke up if she made me eat those pierogies. But, of course, Greg's meat, fine. The so, a little bit burned. For me, it's like, the steak obviously has to cook longer than the other stuff. So, I probably could have just kept it off separate, but I know it's pretty on a skewer. So, yeah, the stuff is done. The chicken on there as well. Cooking things down here with me. She put that chicken on there, and she just got it grilling. Okay, side, Maxine. I see Maxine. Maxine is fat. Maxine is overweight. She needs exercise. Going out in the backyard and going potty and chasing birds in the backyard is not exercise. Maxine needs to be walked. She needs a long walk every single day. You are failing your dog just the way you're failing your children and you're failing your husband and you're failing your own self in your own life. Why don't you try to get at least one thing right, Amy? Walk your dog. It's the easiest thing you could do. Trying to smell the chicken? I'm out here cooking, and you know what I realized? I realized I only like the electric things I have. <laughs> Thankful for them. But the fire one, you gotta keep the fire going. The propane one, right now it's in a direct line of wind. So of course you only like the electric things you have, Amy, because you're lazy. You know what an electric thing is that you can cook on? It's called your kitchen. Go back inside and cook. Blowing out the thing all the time. Smoker, never hardly ever goes out. That's electric. So, I feel like, yeah, electric people. I was thinking, oh, it'd be nice to have propane. Oh, it'd be nice to have the fire. No, you just know what else would be nice is if you learn to use something. Yeah, electric's easy, Amy, but so is propane if you learned how to use it. You just don't want to because you're lazy. We get it. Go back to your kitchen. Cook. Get sweaty eyeballs and it's hot. <laughs> you don't do well in your kitchen anyway. You don't even know how to use your own oven. So, I mean, like, electric, do you really like it? Yeah, so I've got the first one of pieces done. I left these ones in there. They're just cool and, like, cool and cool. They're in their state warm coming for Brooklyn to get home. The pierogies are in the... She's just going to leave it in there till Brooklyn gets home. The one with the beef is in the house, and then the chicken on the cook that's done. Prison, and then I write cook. R.I.P. Brooklyn. Clean up, you know, cool off, eat dinner, and then we're going to go ahead to our movie side. It's going to be really, really great. I want to finish cooking it. Learning curve, not bad, but. Learning curve. This chicken is not done, and this chicken is burnt. Amy, you are going to kill somebody with this chicken. Look, it's not done. I think it's juicy and not done. Mm, 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 mm. She should have used that thermometer on this chicken. Oh, yeah. Hatch it, people. I'm happy now with dinner prep. Steak. This. Hold on. Look at that steak. Look at her food. This lady's like an a animal. Delicious. Oh, delicious. Oh, 
we're gonna go ahead. We got double chocolate crumble in little containers. We got snack mix. I didn't make any popcorn. Water and a blanket. I got snack mix. That's the that's the garbage bag cancer snack mix. We're ready to go. Let's get the palm trees. Totally, man. We're gonna go sit outside and watch a movie at the mall. Look at that little tiny screen. She's trying to show you. She's trying to show the bakery that she's not afraid of people. Amy's not afraid of people. She doesn't like people. There's a difference. Amy doesn't. Amy's not afraid of people coming around her. She just doesn't like to be around people. She likes to do what she likes to do, how she likes to do it, and other people just get in her way. Uh, it's so funny, like twice we had to get out because we, we were just sitting on the Brown. master turf. And she doesn't like her neighbors because she doesn't want them telling her not to do something that she wants to do. Yeah, oh yeah, and it was, it was still, it was like comfortable padded astroturf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, look at this Amy, I'm like, oh my gosh, my finger is numb. And he's like, my thumb's numb. Let's get up and move, let's get up and move. It's been a long day. 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 And you're not going to erase Maddie's. You're letting Maddie be on here. And when she gets older and she doesn't want these videos up anymore, you're not going to take them down. And you're never going to pay her for it. So stop exploiting her. Ma Maddie, stop letting your mom exploit you. At 13, you can have your own channel. And you can make your own money. And you don't need to make money for your mother. Stop making money for your mother. Think about yourself. Because when it's time, she's not going to think about you. She's going to leave you just like she left Evan. She's going to leave you just like she left Lauren. She's going to leave you just like she left Ashlyn and Colin don't believe your mother Maddie she is going to use you and then she's going to abuse you stop being in her videos do not get in her videos there are people doing ugly things to children that are in videos stop being in her videos bear with each other and forgive one another just the way that Amy bared with me when I made my channel and forgave me for commenting on her. No, she didn't. You know what she did? She struck my channel illegally, shut my channel down, and if that's how I paid for my life, the way that Amy uses her YouTube money to pay for her life, I would be boned. I would be out and not able to pay my rent. Luckily, that's not my situation. I am here commenting and making videos because I like to do it, because I like to, to use my voice to make sure that Amy isn't lying to other people, to make sure that anybody isn't lying to other people. We don't need these YouTubers out here lying to, the, to their viewers and exploiting their children. It's disgusting. And when that is over, then maybe I won't even have a channel anymore. And that's okay with me because we don't need our children, the children of this country exploited any more than they already are. And Amy is okay with that. And I'm not. So that's what I'm here for. And if my channel relied if I relied on the money from my channel, Amy would have shut me down and she would have affected my life. She didn't, but she could have and she didn't under she didn't know that. So, she didn't bear with anybody and she didn't forgive anybody. Amy is a hateful person that doesn't follow any of her own advice. She lies and and in this own in this video, in a video, she says that she would not this video, the next video Make sure you're there because you won't believe what she says in the next video. Amy, Miss Christian Woman, you will not believe what she says in the very next video that I edited. Come stop by. Make sure you subscribe because the very next video, I am going to release something that is going to blow your mind. I'll see you there. Be there or be square. I'll catch you guys in the next video. It's her Monday video. See you there, guys. Bye.